Hi guys, today we're going to do a video on the OR function in Excel. So in this video I'm just going to focus on the OR function and in subsequent videos you'll see that uh, this function gets nested into other functions to make more complicated and still very useful functions. So <clears throat> without further ado let me explain this example I've set up here uh, to drive this home. First of all, here we have a series of uh, exams. Uh, if the person passes the exam on the first try, like this individual here, then he is completely, he's done and he would get a true in the past column. Uh, you get up to three tries to pass this exam. If you fail all three tries, you will get a false in the past column. So for example the second individual here uh, fails the first try, fails the second try, but passes the third. So as far as this column he is passed true. Okay, Maybe I'll number these as student 1 to student 11. Okay, so basically I can go through each one of these uh, students one by one and see whether they passed or not. So he failed the first try, he passes the second try, so that will also be true. Okay. This guy fails the first, sec fails the second, passes the third, so he's also true. This guy fails the first, fails the second try, fails the third try, so he gets a false. Okay? But what I want to show you is that with the OR function, we can automate this, and especially when we might have, uh, in this example, if we have hundreds or thousands of uh, students to do this test for, the, you don't want to be going through this line by line. You'll make a lot of human error, and you'll also waste a lot of time and drive yourself crazy as well. So let's delete this, and now that we know what we're looking for, let's go ahead and put in the function. Okay. So in this example, if a student passes any of the tests, he gets uh, he or she gets a, a true in the past column. So equals or the or function and. The OR function just takes a series of logical tests separated by columns. Okay, so we want to test if they pass the first exam. So staying with the first column, comma, or you could read it as OR, did they pass on the second try? And I'm putting yes in quotations because any, any, uh, text has to be put in quotes in Excel. And comma, do they pass on the third try, which is cell D6. So close the parentheses and let's, before we hit enter, just read uh, what, what it is we're doing here. So equals or, first test, is cell B6 equal to yes, which, which is it's really saying, did they pass on the first try? Comma, is cell C6 equal to yes? So did they pass on the second try? And comma, is cell D6 equal to yes? Did they pass on the third try? So only if they failed on each try will we get a, no, a false here. And if they passed on any of these tries, then we would get a true here. So here we obviously get a false, as we expected. Second line, we get a true because they passed it by the third try. Third student, we get a true because they passed it on the second try. And we can pull it all the way down using the bottom right hand corner of the cell. And let's see, this guy right here, student five, failed all three tries. This student here failed all three tries. And everyone else ended up passing it by the third time. Here this guy took three tries, this guy took two tries, this young lady passed it on the first try. Okay, so in this example if any 
if a student passes any of the tests he or she is successful okay sorry for that uh, bit of grammar mistake um, but I hope uh, you saw when this OR function become, is useful and how to actually use it. I've also done another video on the, the AND function using a very similar example. So you should also watch that right after this if you haven't already. And then I have uh, su a subsequent videos on nesting these functions, the OR function and the AND function, inside of the if function, which is a much more common used usage of these functions. Okay, so you should definitely watch those videos after you've understood this video and the and function video. I've also done a basic foundation if function video. Uh, so if you if you watch all three of those, um, then you're ready to go on to slightly higher complication, and uh, those videos will help you. Uh, deal with more real-world problems where you have to nest functions within functions okay so make sure you comment uh, favorite subscribe like and uh, watch the other videos as well and practice 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 thanks a lot have a great day